In this problem, function f is defined as a piecewise function. f of x is negative x plus 5 if x is less than or equal to 2, and negative 1 half x plus 4 if x is greater than 2. And we're asked which of these statements is true. So let's look at these one at a time. Statement 1, f is continuous at x equals 2. Well, you should recognize both of these pieces as lines. These are both linear equations. And the function will be continuous if those lines have the same value at the point where the definition of the function changes, which is at x equals 2. So let's evaluate each of those at x equals 2. So I'll write it like this. In order for it to be continuous, this piece here, negative x plus 5, has to equal this piece here, negative 1 half x plus 4, when x equals 2. And each of these uh, can be evaluated pretty easily. Negative 2 plus 5, that's going to be 3. And the question is, is that equal to negative 1 half x times 2 plus 4, which is negative 1 plus 4, which is also 3. So yes, it is. It's, uh, it's continuous at x equals 2. OK, now let's talk about the limit. I'm going to erase this. The limit will exist if the left and right limits are the same and if they equal each other. So let's just look at those, the left limit. Well, th this is really easy. We can just plug in the value of 2 for x. This is the simple substitution to evaluate the limit. If x is less than 2, then as x approaches 2, the limit is negative 2 plus 5, which is 3, and the right limit as x approaches 2 from the right, we can just substitute a 2 in for x there, and it's negative 1 half x times 2 plus 4, which is also equal to 3. That's essentially the same calculations we were doing for, the, for question number 1, is it continuous? So the left and right limits are the same, and the limits are equal, so the limit exists. And you can also see here a rigorous definition of continuity works as well. The left and the right limits are the same, and the limit equals the value of the function. So if the, if the function, if the x value is equal to 2, then we use this, uh, this top piece. So f of 2 is negative 2 plus 5, so f of 2 is equal to 3. So you can see the left and right limits are the same and equal to the value of the function. Now, is it differentiable? Question number three, let me erase this. Okay, in order to be differentiable, the slopes have to be the same at that point. If the slopes are not the same, then we're going to have a cusp or a corner right there. So in order for the function to be differentiable, at x equals 2, where the definition changes, then the derivative of this first piece, negative x plus 5, has to equal the derivative of this second piece, negative 1 half x plus 4, when x equals 2. OK, well, these derivatives are pretty easy to evaluate. The, on the left side here, the derivative of negative x plus 5 is just a negative 1. And we ask, is that equal to the derivative on the right side? And the derivative of this is negative 1 half. So those are not the same. So when those lines meet, they have different slopes. So they come together and form a, a corner right there. So that is, statement 3 is not true. It's not differentiable at x equals 2 because it is not smooth at that point. So statements 1 and 2 are true.